And what I'm doing here, showing you how to tie a tiger trace, which is any dam. First of all, you need some cable, nylon coated cable. The black one seems to work a lot better there. The fish don't see it as easy. The sensation makes a fantastic one. It's uh, very easy to use, doesn't get all knotted up or anything. Secondly, you use a, a very strong hook, very sharp hook. I've got used to these Lynx Power Plus hooks. The nice thing about them is the cutting edge. If you have a look there, cuts into the tiger's mouth very nicely. You use anything from about a 1 up to a 5 0. Right, you take your cable, just going to show you quickly. Normally, you use about 40 centimeters of line. Place it through the hook, just like that. All right, hold it down tight. Wrap this around one, two, three, four, five, six times. Back through the bottom of the hook there. And there you go. Pull that tight. You can bend it now. And you've got your cable on there. You can trim this end down a bit. What I normally do is just trim that off a bit. Not too short. Now we're going to put a fluorocarbon leader on. Normally you use about a I'm using here yeah, 30 pound fluorocarbon. Alright, about 40 centimeters again. Work the two together. Alright, you're gonna with a wire make a loop. See what it is there, make a loop. One, two, pull it up, not too tight. Pull it up there. You go, you see that? A loop. You're gonna do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six turns. Wet it a bit. Pull it together. Okay, not too tight. Right now what you want to do is tighten them up, put in your mouth, tighten the other side. Right, pull them tight together. So not cut that off. Cut that off. And there we have it. Power plus hook, leader, about 30, 40 centimeters. That's all you need. So Chizini chicken hearts and sardines work very well, as well as live bait, but chicken hearts, definitely a winner. Um, doesn't get all smelly and that. It's very easy to put on the hook. So here's a trick I learned um, fishing off the bank. Simply leave the bale arm open, put a little stone on the, on the line, um, that's just to stop the wind from blowing it and then uh, as a tiger runs off uh, simply close the bale and set the hook. Soft plastics is certainly one of my favorite to fish at Jazini. Um, the zoom here, the zoom fluke here in Houdini color is one of my favorites but I also use a lot of the McCarthy minnows um, they in, in a variety of colors. So you simply hook a hook through the nose um, or through the body like shown in the video here and toss it out along the top and then jerk it along the top quite quickly. Uh, action is explosive and uh, certainly my favorite at Chizini Dam. Here I've hooked into quite a big fish uh, just using a chicken heart just simply flicked a chicken heart out uh, off the bank um, put the rod down and, and, and a reel screamed off uh, um, took a lot of line on the first run, went right out into the open, um, luckily, uh, away from all the structure and that. And then, uh, as you'll see, uh, took a, a bit of time to get it in, but a magnificent fish. And there is a lot of them off the, the um, slipway and off the banks there. Um, I wouldn't go 
um, out into the grass or anything like that. Uh, there's a lot of crocodiles and hippos and that around. So if you're going to fish off the bank, the best areas are sort of around the slipway, around uh, where, the, where the boats are there, just on the left-hand side where, where, the, where the little harbour is. Um, this day, we, it's clear where you can see. You, you don't want to get eaten by a crocodile. Um, uh, it's good fun, and uh, you don't have to have a boat to go fish there. It is nice to fish off the bank. Um, but you do have to keep your eyes open. Rosinia is certainly a magnificent place to visit um, and there's some brilliant fish out here, well worth visiting guys.